Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here and welcome to a fun video where I will be talking about the Pokemon Go Plus accessory that you're able to use with your Pokemon Go playing. Now this video I will be talking about the pros and the cons about this $35 accessory and also is this thing worth purchasing and when is it beneficial? So I will actually start the video with my conclusion, and here's the conclusion. This is not for the actively playing persons, and what I mean by that is if you're actively going out there and you're trying to go around all the different Pokestops, trying to capture everything that you can, all the different Pokemons, all the rare ones, the high CPs, and also the ones you have not caught yet, this will not help you at all. Um, this is for the times where this phone is actually in your pocket, you're not playing the game, maybe you're at work, or maybe you're with your girl or your man and they don't like it when you're playing the game around them. Keep this thing in your pocket, but you can keep this thing running in the background, and every single time that you feel this thing vibrate or light up, now you can actually maybe possibly catch a Pokemon, but definitely get your Poke Stops. So here is some of the different pros with this little accessory. So this right here is perfect, and here's the benefit of having it. And this is really the only benefit. It is to hatch your eggs and to catch your candies with your buddy. So down over here, I got Squirtle inside of there. Now, just today alone with me playing this thing, um, I have accumulated three candies. So I've actually already easily gone nine kilometers. Now this 1.5... I'm going to kind of toss that out of the way and pretend maybe I did that this morning before I got this little accessory. So I easily did get nine kilometers going, which gave me three candies for Mr. Squirtle. Now, the other thing as well, too, is that I'm trying to make a video upcoming here soon where I'm showing off all 10 uh, or nine of the 10K eggs. Now, I don't really have that one yet. I got to get rid of this little five kilometer one first before I can do that. But that is the benefit. This thing is just sitting in your pocket. You're at work. You're doing whatever. You're walking everywhere you can, and you're still accumulating those kilometers. That is where this thing is beneficial. Now, the other thing, too, is that how does this really work? How are you getting all of that stuff? So this right here kind of says that I'm not really actively playing with the little uh, accessory. So you click on that little icon, and then this is how you pair it up when you've already had it paired, which that can actually be for another video that I can do. So I can actually do a pairing video in the future. Now, if you want to learn also more about these colors and everything else that it shows, all you do is click on the little Pokeball. Now, this has been a recent app that just happened today. Today is September 16th, um, and it happened about an hour ago or maybe two hours ago, and right now it's 6.37 p.m. Central Time. So if you go into the settings and you go down to the Pokemon Go Plus, you can actually go to the little quick start, and it's letting you know. So if you see the green color, that means it is a Pokemon that you've already caught. If you see yellow, that means it's one that you have not caught yet, which I would highly suggest at that moment in time. Do not use this accessory because what this thing does in general is it throws a red regular Pokeball straight with no raspberry. More than likely, if you see any Pokemon that you would really love to direly have or just to capture, you will be using probably a Raspberry along with a Great Ball or Ultra Ball, or you could be using a Raspberry and you're using your Red Pokeball and you are curving it. So with that said, that is some of the cons. You are only getting rid of your Red Balls and throwing them straight, so you will not get those extra X XP points, so you're not getting the Curve Ball nor the Excellent or Great or Nice Hit. It's just going straight. But there is one pro to that. If you have a crap ton of red balls like I do, this is a good way to get rid of them. Now, let's go on over to next. If you see the multicolored lights flashing and you threw your ball, basically, then that means that this right here was a successful hit and a successful catch. That means that you have now have your Pokemon. Or you did go to your Pokestop and you've received your items. If you see the red right there, that means that your Pokestop has gone out of range or your Pokemon's gone out of range, which when that means that your Pokemon's gone out of range, that means that you missed it. So again, I highly suggest if you're driving, don't ever use this thing because once it's gone and out of the range, you will never get that Pokemon. Now remember, in part of the game, when you click on a Pokemon and you keep going and you're walking or biking or whatever, you can still catch that thing because it's up on the screen. Now, that is pretty much about you know all the different colors and some of the pros and the cons already. Now, the cool thing about the Pro with this one is that this thing will last you about 100 days. So it's about three months of using this thing to try to grab all your little pokey stops and things when you're really not playing the game. But again, mostly tracking all of your kilometers. Now, how does this thing run in the background? Once you have this thing going, you see that little icon on the very top left-hand side, and it's basically saying that the Pokemon Go Plus is going. That means I can go straight up into my home screen, and no matter what I'm doing, I'm still if I'm walking, still accumulating my kilometers. Let's say that I'm hopping up into a phone app, or let's say that I'm going into my calculator, and let's say I'm doing calculations, or let's say I go up on Facebook. Let's say I'm doing anything and everything I'm doing, or 
I just have this thing locked. Um, this is actually still running the application in the background. So right now, if this thing is sitting in your pocket or if it's at work um, and this thing is still going, you are still collecting your kilometers. Now you gotta remember, it's everywhere the phone is going. So it's not really, from my understanding, I don't know, you, you guys can actually let me know in the comments below. I don't think that this is really um, one that is tracking your steps. I don't think there's a pedometer in there. It's going solely based off of the phone's location. So what does it really look like when you're playing the game and you're watching everything in action? So right over here, you guys can see that that right there actually has a small little line. What it's doing is it's pointing to the little Pokestop or the Pokemon that it would like to catch. So right here, it is showing me that it is going for a Nidoran. And right over here, you might see a couple of Pokestops that you personally would like to capture first. Just so you guys know, once this thing is connected and when you hit these little buttons, this thing chooses first off Pokemon before Pokestops. Um, and then also, I don't know exactly if it goes by the CP of each one. I've noticed one time where it actually picked up on the Pokemon that spawned first, but then another time it almost seemed as if it chose the one with the higher CP. But again, I've missed all of them <laughs> that I've tried to catch with this little accessory. So let's look a little bit more about the cons of this little accessory. So when you see this thing blinking blue, it's letting you know that, or when it's blinking green, it's letting you know that there's a Pokemon in the area. Now, again, you don't know exactly what it is. So you might be catching yourself a little Weedle, or you're trying to catch yourself an Eevee, and you'll actually never know. So this right here, you can see how this one ran away, and then this Weedle was caught. Uh, this one ran away, ran away, ran away. I mean, pretty much almost all of these in this entire journal has ran away from me. Uh, and actually, I didn't even know there's a gloom in this list because I was basically walking around, just basically going by faith, trying to hope that some of these things would be able to be caught and then put up into you know, my little backpack. So more than likely, your little Pokemon will run away. It seems as if my catch rate is maybe 20%. And I'm really not lying. Uh, those little uh, CPs have been ranging from almost any number. And again, my catch rate is horrible. So I really hope that there is an update that will actually have a higher catch rate for these little accessories. So we've talked about that this thing is horrible at catching the Pokemons. You also have to make sure that you are in range of the Pokestops and also the Pokemons. Um, if you're actively playing the game, if you click on one of those little Pokemons, you'll be able to still walk and still be able to catch it. Now, out of a lot of the stuff that I've talked about, the only benefit, again, is tracking. And in terms of getting your kilometers. Now, let's actually look at the piece of equipment itself. So this right here is just a little pieces of little rubber that I wear on a normal daily basis. It just goes with my red, white, and blue. Um, and so what you do is you have to actually take this little screw off right there with a little baby screwdriver. And once you actually take this off, this is where you'd be able to put it into the accessory. So this is actually how it comes. It does not come pre-installed with this little band on it. So the type of battery that is inside of here is the CR2032, if you guys are curious. Now with this piece of equipment over here, all you do is you basically have to move this little strap. So in this way you'd be able to latch this on in. And then all you do is screw in the little screw. And now you're actually good to go and you'd be able to wear this thing around your wrist if you'd like. Now you just got to kind of play around with it. Now this is really kind of cheap. It looks like something a little uh, eight-year-old would wear. Um, so as an adult for me, this isn't really uh, pleasing to myself. So I did actually just kind of put it onto here, which was actually very cool. Now if you're in construction, you could probably clip this thing onto a little uh, you know, construction belt. If you're wearing a belt or you have little loops on your pants, which every single pair of pants that I know if they're jeans, have little loops on them. So you'll be able to push this inside of there and then this way when you feel vibrations, click on the button. So this right here has really basically been kind of my hopefully to the point and hopefully beneficial video for you guys. So is this thing worth it? Is this thing worth $35 to track all of the kilometers that you are walking in a daily basis when you're not looking at your phone? I think for that one purpose alone, this thing is worth it. So what you'd actually be able to do is have this phone off right here as long as everything is still running in the background. Click this thing there, boom, place this thing right up in your pocket. What I would do is I would have this right here and then take off this little strap, just keep it as a little clip, place this in your pocket. That right there is beneficial for me. For catching Pokemon and for getting Pokestops, it's not really that beneficial if you're actively playing. Um, I would only use it if I'm not actively playing the game, if I'm just hanging out with some friends, eating dinner, whatever, hit a couple buttons here and there, maybe try to get something. But for catching, heck no. I don't accept any um, Pokemon to come on up and me to catch 100% of them. More likely, I'm catching 20 to 30% of them. So hope you guys like this video. 
And if this thing right here is beneficial for you hatching your eggs and getting your candies, which for a lot of you guys it might be, um, then go on out there, check out GameStop. You can also check out their website. You can go to Amazon.com as well. Um, and outside of that, make sure you guys hit on like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.